Hello friends, if you're planning going solar, then you are stepping one step closer in preserving the environment. If we look around, we'll see that we are meeting most of our energy demands mostly by burning fossil fuels. And burning fossil fuel is hazardous to the environment. We know that climate is a concern in today's time. And if you plan towards solar, then you are actually helping, contributing in preserving the environment. Maybe there are also and many other alternative energy sources like wind, but switching to solar could be the most one of the most feasible renewable energy options. Not only in environment, if uh, we look around across the solar PV technology, then it has advanced very much. Technology-wise, the if I talk about the technology of solar photovoltaic in the last decade, then it has improved very much. Ten years back, you could find solar panels having max efficiency maximum up to 12 to 13 percent. But nowadays, you can find solar panels having efficiency of over 20 to 23 percent. You can find solar panels of different technologies like monopark, half-cut solar cell technology, bifacial solar panels, and many more. These are not only efficient, but they produce power even under cloudy weather conditions. Moreover, there is a reduction in, if I am not wrong, the price of the solar power system has reduced by more than 70 to 80 percent in the last decade. So, not only in the advancement in the solar technology, but also the reduction in the cost has made solar PV technology one of the most feasible renewable energy source. So, if you are planning, if you are switching towards solar, you are not only saving money, but also contributing in preserving the environment. Solar. solar inverter is one of the important components in any solar power system. One of the questions that might arise is which type of solar inverter I should choose, I should go for, whether it's single phase or three phase. And this is the topic of discussion in, of today's video. First, let us understand the working of a solar inverter. Solar inverter converts direct current electricity into alternative current electricity. Our solar panels, they absorb photons of light and convert it into direct current. But most of our electrical appliances run on alternating current electricity. Why is it so? Well, the simple answer is AC current has more advantages than direct current. We are not going into the technical detail. The simple answer is that AC current has many advantages over direct current. For this, we need a platform, we need an interface or we need an electrical appliance which can do this conversion from direct current to the alternating current. And the solar inverter does this very effectively and efficiently. It receives direct current as an input and converts it into alternating current for our electrical appliances and our electrical appliances starts running on alternating current. So, this is the basic working of any kind of solar inverter. Today's solar inverter, they have many features and one of the important features is real-time monitoring. You can actually see the performance of your solar power system on real-time basis. Remote monitoring, you can access the performance of your solar power system while sitting in your office. So, these are the solar inverters. Let us discuss the technical difference between single phase and three phase solar inverters. When I talk about single phase solar inverter, it has one live wire and one neutral wire. The output is 220 volts. While in case of three phase solar inverter, we see three live wires and one neutral wire. These three live wires, they distribute the load equally so that no single phase is overloaded. Let us discuss which kind of solar inverter is suited to your energy needs. If we talk about family with four to six members living in a house, then uh, the most probable, the most suited solar inverter would be single phase solar inverter. Because single phase solar inverter is affordable and it can easily meet the energy needs of a small to mid-sized family. It is easy to install 
and it's very straightforward connections. Also, if the load of the house is less than 5 kilowatt, then it is better to go for single phase solar inverter. So, one of the decision criteria is if uh, your load is less than 5 kilowatt and it's a mid size family of 4 to 6 members, then it is advisable to go for single phase solar inverter. While on the other hand, if you live in a big property where load is greater than 5 kilowatt, let's say you are living in a two story building where first floor has two ACs, ground floor has also two air conditions and many other facilities like charging, electric car, where heavy loads are associated, are connected to it. In that case, we need a three phase solar inverter so that each phase can distribute the load equally to each floor so that no single phase is overloaded. So, three phase solar inverter is effectively and efficiently distributes the load equally so that no single phase is overloaded. Another criteria is that if your load is greater than 5 kilowatt, then it is better to look for three phase solar inverter. So, this is the basic difference of choosing between single phase and three phase solar inverter. The best way to decide between the two is to look for your grid power supply. In case, uh, one of the easiest ways to decide whether to go for single phase solar inverter or three phase solar inverter is to look your grid. Let's say you are going for a grid tight solar power system and we need to install a solar inverter for that. And if your grid supply is single phase, then it is advisable, it is obvious that you should go for single phase solar inverter. And in case your grid supply is three phase supply, its, it's type is three phase type, then you should look for, you go, should go for three phase solar inverter. And the best way to know is to look at your utility bill, which, which mentions the type of electricity grid supply you have. If it says that you have single phase supply, grid supply, then you should go for single phase solar inverter for your solar power system. If it mentions that, your property has three phase grid supply then for installing solar power system you should go for three phase solar inverter so let us summarize what we have learned the decision criteria is based on the size of the house if the family members are less or more if let's say you have you mid to small size family where energy needs are small then you should go for single phase solar power inverter while on the other hand a big house with more members more load then go for three phase solar inverter grid supply if grid supply that if you look at the type of grid supply if it is single phase grid supply then your solar inverter should be single phase in case your grid supply is three phase then while installing solar power system you should look for three phase solar inverter and yes obviously future energy needs Let's say you are uh, foreseeing that uh, in next two to three years, your energy demands are going to increase. Let's say one or two member members are going to join your family. So, obviously, your energy demands are going to increase. In that case, your load exceeds 5 kilowatt, then it is advisable to have three phase solar inverter right now. So, these are the basic criteria of choosing between single phase and three phase solar inverter. So, in the last, it obviously depends on your energy needs, also on future energy needs, size of the family and the load of your house. Thank you very much.